hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for choosing to join me today before we continue of course remember to subscribe to my channel and yeah so this is a day in my life I was doing something interesting today so I thought why not take you guys along with me it's 9 p.m. 9 a.m. shall we first of all talk about how I almost missed the interview that I had but I'm from switch TV um, I had an interview with Jason Mundi with my girl Sylvia and we were talking about travel ideas and, <laughs> and adventures <laughs> travel ideas and adventures BTS is for me so I'm gonna cue that after this video but also I hope they don't they if they by the time I upload this video if they will have put it on YouTube then of course I'm gonna share that with you that's what I've been up to this morning now I'm just going to work and then I we hosted on a podcast which I'm also going to show you guys from 4 p.m. yeah so yeah enjoy the hi vlog. guys I am here with the Gasheros designate yes. Gashero so, family the Gashero family, family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So Sly and I were on the interview, we were talking about travel ideas and adventures and Mans here was helping us with the BTSs. No, Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. But yeah. Number yeah. mm. oh. in a picture. Till number you can bless us the way you want. You know. <laughs> Hi, I enjoy. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. And we want to talk about travel ideas and adventures. My guest here in studio with me, I have Chabet McKenna, who's a content creator and PR consultant. And we also have Sylvia Mundia, who's a travel concierge and an IR pr practitioner. Yes. Women's ministry through travel. Yes. What does that mean? I have a hat for women. Okay. I have a hat to talk to women. Or I didn't even know it until I think of okay. yeah. But God called me to speak to women and Hi guys, um, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, I'm having a Zoom call, Zoom something with Wambo Indungu. Uh, she hosts a Spilled Words podcast. Uh, so yeah, we're having a Zoom link with her. So before I join in the Zoom, I thought I'd share few things that have been helping me first to stay grateful and to be productive so it's a little chit chat so um, by the way I removed my lashes I don't know how people stay with lashes out there but that life is not for me one of the things that helps me uh, stay thankful is earlier in the year I shared in a video um, I think it was my first or second video of the year this year I shared that I wanted to start to get into like the gratefulness jar so this is basically just a jar and then you write little things you're grateful for each day so each day you write what you're grateful for and then you put it in the jar and then like when the year ends you just look back and just kind of reminisce trying to do it daily but some some sometimes I wanted to say sometimes and some days anyway some days I I don't I'm not able to maybe I'm lazy or I don't feel like nini nini. Um, I think the link to the zoom call is here that helps me to stay grateful just mostly I like to do it at the end of the day 
just to look at look back at my day and see what I'm grateful for. You don't have to write for you to be grateful. I just feel like writing is sort of like an accountability and a, a conscious um, decision to actually be grateful. Let me join in the Zoom meeting and then I'll finish what I was talking about after the Zoom meeting. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You know, I've always wanted that. Like, I've always desired to like connect online and just make like real friends. You know, so it's yeah, actually so really exciting. I went to uni in Besta, so like, Oh, you did. did. Me too. Did you? Yeah. It's no. <laughs> citizen for my internship and my role there was a social media officer so and then I got a, a contract job so I did that for about a year before I quit and that's when I got in touch with because I did PR in school but now this was kind of like a P, like new school PR you know like PR but digitally yeah so that's how I, I got in touch with digital marketing for the first time and I was like this is actually like the numbers were intriguing me you know just understanding the insights and things like that so that was my first contact to digital marketing um, yeah so that's basically how I got into it I was like how do I start just come up with a red card come up with proposals and also just pre-planning pre content I think is one of the Things that has come through for me so much because you know as a content creator there are times where you're not you're not in it yani you're not feeling yourself you need to do it but also you're not in the groove of it so pre-planning content helps me a lot I really like it when I share my content and people go like this inspired me or I related to this or you inspired me to you know just basically telling my story and it having whatever well positive impact to my audience yeah, of course for me like for my instagram i'm really looking forward to get to 10k so 10k followers <laughs> because of the swipe up feature and you know oh. just things like that let me tell you <laughs> i will swipe up your lives to my youtube <laughs> a lady called me and she's like hi i was just going through your stuff nini nini and i don't think you have the numbers for us to you know like reach the people and i was like okay sis like that's fine thank first of all thank you for letting me know that and it was a travel agency and we went to masai mara and so i was like oh that's right i was like oh this is how it works so i thought this is how it works in this world like you just sit and wait for people to approach you until six months were over and I had no collaboration or anything and then I was like you know what let me just start with this proposal thing I read something interesting that you will not get what you don't ask for and I was like you know what I'm gonna ask for them so I think in Kenya especially for me as a macro influencer it's it's you to reach out to them so that they know about you I don't know a lie i'm not even feeling 22 in fact i'm feeling 35 <laughs> because adulting is just another thing um so i don't know if this will be noticeable and you know sometimes as a content creator or as, as someone who puts um stuff out there um it's i don't know but like before be, the video before this one the video just because i think i said i was going on a zoom call and then yeah but if you notice my mood then and now change and yeah so you know such is life and something had just happened and i was i was tearing up because first of all i practically cry about everything like a moment 
but um the call with one boy just you know and i was like oh my gosh my eyes are red and i'm going on a call with somebody like the, as soon as i got into the call i just went in and it was a really i had a really good time one boy i know you're watching this i hope you are but thank you so much for having me um she is a podcaster i'm gonna leave her instagram down below and you guys can check her out by the time i put this video she'll have put um her video like the zoom call we had but we're basically just so if not you just follow her and then now you know you'll get to see when she posts but we were just talking about content creation and just the packs of it and i was just sharing how i got into it and something interesting by the way is I was telling her um, one of the ways that I keep saying on social media is filtering the people I follow. I try to be conscious about who I follow. So, and I realized how this, how important this was because, like, I used to go through my feed and I'm like, why am I following this person? And I unfollow because they're posting unnecessary things. The way I expect someone to be posting impactful stuff, I also try to do the same on my end and just be like, be conscious about what i'm posting like how is it gonna help someone apart from just trying to find those people that are impactful also be that impactful person on social media i was telling you guys i was telling her that day i went to my explore page the instagram explore page and you know that one has like every you know it has everyone you know but this idea i just went through that explore page and i was almost depressed not depressed depressed is a strong word but my heart just sunk you know i was like there was so much I don't know but there was just an energy that was there and I was just like yeah it actually makes sense that you need to filter who you follow don't just follow every Tom Dick and Harry I went to the call I was sharing what helps me to stay productive having a to-do list I know we've had this one too many times but it's actually very impactful um, <clears throat> most people like to do their to-do list um, at night also, I hope I'm trying to look at the camera. I'm really trying. But I prefer to do mine in the morning, just before I start my day. And I find that it helps me to stay productive throughout the day. Like, it helps me to, you know, there's not one time in the day where I'm like, sister sign if I need you know. So, like, there's a plan to eat, um, you know, like, there's a plan to my day. And, like, I get to finish set targets for myself. For example, if it's, like, write a report and be like, if I finish this report, I'm gonna reward myself to a YouTube video, you know, so that when I'm watching the YouTube video, it's not, it's not, I'm not feeling guilty at the time, I'm just watching YouTube. Not to say that YouTube is not something you should do well. I'm here and I expect you to be watching my stuff. What I realized with that is that it also helps me to be okay on a day when it's my rest day and I'm not doing anything and not be like, but you should be working yeah. treasure rest so much starting with sleeping <laughs> i'm a big fan of sleeping this in point tomorrow is my rest day not to mean that i tomorrow is friday not to mean that i won't do anything but tomorrow is the day that first of all i just get to sleep in and not feel guilty about it if i have responsibilities not go over them and be like but today is my rest day and i'm sleeping in what i wanted to share speaking of which tomorrow is i've never done a chit chat by the way before and i feel like i'm actually enjoying it you guys are enjoying it well, let me say thank you so much like the video from last week not last week two days ago but you know like to be last week by the time you're watching this one did so well the vlog um i realized you guys are into long long things so <laughs> i'm gonna try and do that um a day in my life because something different was happening today from the other the previous day of my life the previous day in my life that i had so um tomorrow i have class and it's also graduation i'm finishing i'm so excited i think i'm gonna be sharing uh, like some of the things i learned from the class because i think you know they're impactful me six yeah. And I'm just looking out the window and the traffic is crazy so I think I'll stay here and just try and actually maybe I'll edit this vlog I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much guys for choosing to join me um, of course please remember to subscribe it really supports my channel we are growing and I'm happy yay let's continue doing the subscribe thing share it so that also people in your clan can get to know about Shabet McKenna and follow her <laughs> 
but yeah thank you so much guys for choosing for choosing to join me and also i wanted to say if you have any video ideas that you like to see me do let me know in the comment section also interact with me in the comment section like i appreciate comments in my dms i really do but please if you do not mind leave me comments in the you know in the comment section down below yeah let's keep talking let's keep chatting bye i'll see you on my next video bye